Okay, guys, now that we know how to do the table of contents, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to format a six by nine and a five by eight book. It's really simple. Um, let me just show you that real quickly. So we have our table of contents that we just did. We're going to go to file and page setup. Okay. And then page size, manage custom sizes. And so I already have it set up as a six by nine on here. If we wanted to change that to five by eight, we would just do that and then click OK. Click OK. Bam, we're five by eight. We just went up to 32 pages from however many we had. Uh, you can also, if you want to do the margins, you're going to definitely want to have custom margins on this. So I already have it 0 0.76, 0 0.76, 0 0.76, 0 0.6 for outside and 0.14 for the gutter. Uh, even on some of the books, you can change the gutter to zero and definitely you want to have it as mirror margins. If we don't, then it changes it a little bit. Uh, two pages per sheet. We don't want to do that. You can do book fold. I've never done that, but I do mirror margins. Uh, apply to whole document, click OK, and there you go. So now we have, um, I did something stupid. So anyway, we have that set up. Uh, I think because I clicked on the book fold, it changed it. But anyway, so all you have to do, click on home or file, I'm sorry, page setup, manage custom sizes, and then you put in whatever size you want your book. If we want it six by nine, we go back, we change it. Bam. Click OK. OK. We're at six by nine. Okay. If you want to change the margins, you go to layout, margins, custom margins. If I wanted to change it, see, I changed it there. That's what happened. I'm going to do one, 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 point one four mirror margins. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It's that simple. Custom size margins and you're done. All right, guys. Thanks.